president of NAPS Lagos chapter. Okay. How has it been so far and what are your prospects? Uh, actually, the journey so far in NAPS, NAPS is National Association of Proprietors of Private School. I came on board as the president in October 31st, 2017. It's about a year now. And I must say that uh, since we came on board, we have been working. And we thank Almighty God that uh, we have been making a success out of our program. One of the things we do uh, as an association of proprietors is that uh, we protect the interest of our members. We intervene in the interest of our members. And we also play our own role in improving the quality of education. Of, of the country and on the area of intervening for our members in so many cases we have done that successfully there are cases of the intervention for our members in so many areas we have intervened in case of Hamad deal there was a time government came with another deal that we felt is too much for our members to pay we met the ministry of education and uh, they were graciously enough to to reduce the normal uh, the hammer deal back uh, we have an issue, so that we have an issue with LASA on advertisement for our members. We are the LASA people also brought a, a big bill for our members to pay. We were able to intervene and uh, LASA too also gave us a 90% discount for our private schools for advertisement. And so many cases like that we have, we have been forthcoming for intervening for our members. And in terms of uh, aiding the government, uh, drive to give qualitative education. Of course, we have also been partnering with the Labour State Government by making sure that uh, we do a lot of seminars for our members to improve the quality of uh, the education they give to, to their children and uh, improve the quality of schools that we now have uh, in the Labour State. And all this will have a direct impact on the children, the, the, the masses children that we have in our care. So, so far, so good. Uh, we have been doing very well. There, there's a minimum standard okay. that uh, the government had uh, prescribed for you establishing the private schools. And uh, this minimum standard we encourage our members to meet. For you to operate a private school, you must have approval from the government. That is the responsibility of the state government on the association. But for our members that are yet to attain the approval, of the government because of one challenge or the other. We are aiding them. We are aiding them by helping them to get loan from financial institutions to upgrade their facilities so that they will be able to get these approvals. And uh, those ones are the approvable schools. For those ones that are not ready to improve and the quality could have negative effects on the education, we advise the Lagos State Government to do something about them. For, for those ones that are striving and not yet there, the association is aiding them by helping them to get self loan from bar to improve the quality of their service and facilities where they can get approval from the government. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, sir, um, let's go into your marriage now. Tell us how you met your wife. Oh, wives? <laughs> Where you met her, and how has it been? The kind of person she is. Tell us about oh, the time oh, the <laughs> Actually, the story of my wife is both a uh, good story and sad one. I'll start with the good one. Uh, my first wife, my wife is I met her when I was working at Methodist Boys High School. I was a teacher at Methodist Boys High School in those days. And she was the secretary to the whole boys association. You see, Methodist Boys High School has a very strong whole boys association because uh, Methodist Boys High School is the first, second secondary school in Nigeria and the likes of uh, Namdi Azikwe went through that school, Rashid Ibadamosi and host of big names like that. So they they maintain a very strong overs and they have an office in the school compound. She works as a secretary. I work as a teacher. And there's this particular day during the holiday. I just went to school and uh, I went the office is beside the principal office. So I eventually went to go and greet the principal since it has been some break. And I saw her. She was new. She just came. There's this little black, shining, uh, radiant lady as a secretary. So naturally, I just shouted at her. Salam alaikum. Uh, you are a new secretary here. Yeah, you are welcome to our school and things like that. That is our first talk. I can never forget. And since then, it has been a full story. 
we eventually got married and she met the sister and uh, went into another private sector and things was very good and rosy until I lost her. Until I lost her. Until I lost her for the six years. That is the sad part of it. So I, I, I later remarried. Uh, I married another wife, uh, Rashida Tabumande. She's also a proprietor. And uh, we are doing fine. She, she has given birth to a son to me right now. We are good.